Hi. Um, what I want to do now is just a review or a summary of where we are with graphical models. So that as we go through various inference algorithms for graphical models, we keep in mind what we're doing, why we're doing it. So if you ever get confused about what the big level picture is as we're going through some inference algorithms, come back to this to these slides or this video just to get a, a, a picture of the an understanding of the big picture. So I'm formulating um, graphical models by assuming there's a, some training data. The training data consists of XY pairs where X is an input and Y is a label for that input, but where this Y is a colored graph. So our labels are colored graphs. Um, so an example of this is semantic segmentation where the input is an image. We have a graph where the pixels, the nodes are the pixels of the image. Um, we have edges between each pixel and neighboring pixels. Um, and we have training data and the training data consists of the image and a label at each position. And in this case, the labels are semantic categories like person, car, tree. Um, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna define a scoring function where the scoring function assigns a score to every possible coloring of the graph. So we're scoring the colorings of the graph. And we do that by assuming a deep network has constructed two tensors one of which is assigning a score for each node and each possible label of that node, uh, an entry in the tensor that, de that defines that score. Um, and also for each edge in the graph, we're assuming a tensor that uh, for each edge and each pair of colors for that edge assigns a score for that coloring of that edge. This is a kind of compatibility score. Um, and then, uh, we have exponentially many different colorings of this fixed graph. Um, and it turns out to be intractable um, to compute this exponential softmax over all possible colorings. So this is a softmax over all colorings of the score of that coloring. Um, and I should explain my notation a little bit. I'm using Y without the hat to mean the gold label coloring in the, in the training data. And I'm using Y with the hat to mean some hypothetical coloring. Uh, we're we're going to use it as a random variable to range uh, under a probability distribution defined by the model over all possible colorings. So we've got this energy for every possible coloring, and we've got this softmax over all possible colorings that defines the probability distribution for a given X and a deep model with this parameter vector over the possible colorings where we're assuming these tensors are computed by a deep network. And then our loss function is just the negative log probability of the gold coloring um, under the probability defined by this exponential softmax. Okay, now um, I said this exponential softmax was difficult to compute. And in spite of it being difficult to compute, we can prove that um, we can do the backpropagation if we can compute um, the probability under the exponential softmax that a given node has a given label. And we need to do that for all nodes and all labels. And similarly, the probability under the distribution defined by the exponential softmax um, that a given edge has a given label, a given pair of node labels. So if we can compute these probabilities, that's enough to do the back propagation from our loss function back into the tensors. And then if we get it back into the tensors, we get it back to the... Um, so that's where we are. And if you ever get confused about where we are, come back, come back to these slides and this uh, video. Thanks.